You wake up tomorrow and decide to wear a blue shirt instead of a red one. It feels like a choice, your choice. We live our lives assuming we're in the driver's seat, freely choosing what to eat, where to go, who to love. Free will, the ability to genuinely choose among options, seems like the most natural thing in the world. Yet, an unnerving question lurks beneath that everyday confidence. Are we truly choosing at all? Or are we just puppets following a script written by the universe? It sounds like sci-fi or philosophy gone wild. The idea that your sense of control might be an elaborate illusion. But science, from neuroscience to physics, has been poking at this question. And the results are both fascinating and a little scary. Today, we're going to dive deep into this mystery. By the end, you might never look at your own decisions the same way again. Hooked? Good. Let's pull some mental strings. In the 18th century, thinkers imagined the universe as a giant clockwork mechanism. Every piece of matter follows precise laws of nature, cause leading to effect over and over. If you knew the exact state of the world right now, every atom's position and velocity, then in theory, you could calculate every future event like frames of a movie. This idea was captured by the thought experiment of Laplace's demon, an intellect that knows all initial conditions and thus can predict the entire future. In such a perfectly deterministic world, even your choices would be preset outcomes of prior causes. As one modern explanation puts it, if you knew the state of the universe at one instant, you could theoretically predict everything that would ever happen in the future. This vanilla determinism is comforting to some. The universe is orderly, but philosophically depressing to others. After all, if it's all just dominoes falling, Where's our freedom? For a long time, classical physics made it look like we might indeed be living in such a clockwork universe. A grand chain of cause and effect from the Big Bang to eternity. In a fully deterministic cosmos, free will would seem to be an illusion. We'd be like actors reading lines in a play that's already written, or puppets dancing on strings pulled by the initial conditions of the universe. Even Albert Einstein leaned toward this view. He famously quipped that if the moon had consciousness, it would be convinced that it journeys across the sky by its own will. In reality, of course, the moon is governed by gravity and motion, not its own volition, and Einstein suspected we humans are no different from the moon in that regard. But wait, modern science threw a wrench, or maybe a dice, into the clockwork. Enter quantum mechanics. Early 20th century physics discovered that, at the subatomic level, events don't always follow a neat, predictable path. If you try to measure an electron or a photon in certain ways, you can only predict probabilities of outcomes, not a definite result. It's as if nature, at its core, has an element of random chance. Even Einstein wasn't happy with this, remarking, God does not play dice with the universe. But experiments have confirmed real quantum randomness. So does this save free will? If the future isn't entirely predetermined, if there's a roll of the dice in the fundamental physics, maybe not everything is fated from the start. Not so fast. Randomness is not the same as having control. If your decisions were completely random, that wouldn't be you choosing. It would just be chance. In fact, philosophers point out that you have no more control over a purely random action than over a predetermined one. Whether an event is determined by prior causes or left to randomness, neither scenario obviously leaves room for you to influence it. If you flip a coin to decide your fate, the coin toss might be unpredictable. But it's not free will, it's just luck. To make things weirder, some physicists have contemplated a concept called Super-determinism. This is like determinism on steroids. Not only is the outcome of every particle collision fixed in advance, but even what experiments scientists decide to do is fixed in advance. 
It's a way to explain the strange correlations in quantum physics without randomness by saying everything, including the choices of the experimenters, was destined from the start. The physicist John Bell once suggested, with some unease, that if the world were truly super-deterministic, then our behavior, including our belief that we are free to choose, is absolutely predetermined. In other words, if super-determinism is true, your feeling of free will is just part of the grand clockwork, a little illusion the universe programmed into you. Sound creepy? It is. One physicist, Sabine Hossenfelder, argues that free will is logically incoherent nonsense in light of physics. Now, you all know that I think free will is logically incoherent nonsense. According to superdeterminism, the reason we can't predict the outcome of a quantum measurement is that we are missing information. This missing information is usually referred to as the hidden variables. Once we find them, we'll see the universe is fully governed by cause and effect again. Hossenfelder even predicts that eventually we might find outcomes are far more predictable than quantum theory currently says. In the super-deterministic view, the universe knows everything in advance, including your supposedly free choices, because it's all one giant consistent system. Here's the mind bender. If that's true, then even your watching this video right now was pre-written into the cosmic script and you still feel like you chose to, right? That paradox is exactly what makes this topic so eerie and fascinating. Are we in control or just along for the ride? To dig deeper, let's look not to the stars or atoms, but inside our own heads. When you decide to do something, say, wiggle your finger, you experience it as a conscious choice that occurs in the moment. But incredible experiments in neuroscience suggest your brain might have been gearing up for that action before you were consciously aware of deciding it. The most iconic study was done in the 1980s by physiologist Benjamin Libet. He hooked volunteers up to an EEG to measure brain activity and asked them to perform a simple action, flex a finger, at a time of their choosing. He also had them report the moment when they felt the intention to move. The result? Libet discovered a spike of brain activity called the readiness potential, building up several hundred milliseconds, around 0.3, 0.5 seconds, before the person reported deciding to move. In Libet's interpretation, the unconscious brain was starting the decision process and only later did the conscious mind catch up and think, I've decided to do this now. This finding lit a fire under the free will debate, with some saying it proved free will is an illusion that the brain initiates voluntary actions before we consciously decide. If a fraction of a second doesn't impress you, later studies turn the dial up further. In 2008, researchers were able to predict a person's decision up to seven seconds in advance. Participants in this study would freely decide at some point to press a button with their left or right hand. Amazingly, by analyzing patterns in their brain activity, the scientists could guess which hand the person would choose several seconds before the person felt they had decided. Now, does this mean you're just a biological robot with your conscious self as a mere spectator? Not everyone is ready to go that far. Libet himself noted that while the brain might initiate a process, perhaps the conscious mind has a veto power, sometimes called free won't. In other words, maybe your unconscious brain proposes an action and you still have a chance to say no at the last moment. Indeed, further studies show that people can sometimes veto or cancel a movement in the split second after the readiness potential has started. But before the movement occurs, it's like your subconscious is the gas and your conscious mind is the brakes. Which brings us to another wild set of experiments. If our brains can decide before we know it, could it also be that we often trick ourselves about why we chose something? Spoiler, yes. 
Psychologists have demonstrated phenomena like choice blindness, which show how oblivious our conscious minds can be to the factors driving our choices. Pictures. This is choice blindness. We are often blind to our own choices and will readily invent explanations for decisions we never really made. It's a bit scary to realize how easily our sense of agency can be manipulated. If you can justify a choice that wasn't yours, how confident can you be about the choices you think are yours? So, do we truly have free will? Or are we passengers on a pre-laid track? The unsettling truth is, we don't fully know. Your sense of freedom could be the most beautiful, comforting lie ever told, or a deeply misunderstood truth waiting to be revealed. The debate rages on across disciplines, and maybe one day we'll have a clearer answer. Until then, the question will continue to linger in your mind every time you make a decision. Could I have chosen otherwise? Am I really the master of my fate? The very fact that you can ask these questions, that you can stand outside yourself and doubt your own autonomy, is remarkable. Puppet or not, you are a part of this strange and wonderful universe questioning itself. And perhaps that, in and of itself, is a hint that there's more to the story of free will than we can see right now. And that big, looming question of who's really in charge here? Well, that question is now yours to carry. Thank you for watching. Or was it inevitable that you would?